sitting on my bench. Why am I out of breath? What? Hello, happy Monday. I hope you're having a good Monday so far. Don't know when, if it's morning or night when you're watching this, but thanks for being here. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about how I pretty much started my business and why um, I pretty much owe it all to Starbucks. <laughs> Kind of. So, in June, yeah, June 2011 is whenever it just like, no, not June 11, June 2014. But I kind of touched on this in my other video, which was the why I dropped out of college video, which will be linked down below. And that kind of explains like prior to me starting my business, like why I dropped out of my college. I dropped out of college to start a business. So this is kind of elaborating on whenever I spoke about winning the Starbucks contest, which launched my career in business. So that is, this is the video that's explaining that. I was currently going to CCAC, which is the community college, because I went to college and then it just, you know, that I'm not gonna explain it again. But either way, when this started, whenever I entered this contest, um, Starbucks was having a contest called the White Cup Contest. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick. Uh, it was called the White Cup Contest. They were holding a contest on Instagram. So all you had to do was take one of their white cups, draw on it, and then submit it in hashtag White Cup Contest. That was it. You didn't have to pay, you didn't have to do anything else. That was, that was all you had to do. You could enter as many times as you possibly wanted. I think I entered about seven times and here are some pictures. I did like a bunch of different um, cups and different designs. They all kind of look the same, but they all relatively are different. So, but this one is the one that I actually submitted and the one that was the winner of the entire contest. So those are the cups that I did um, and the one that I won I still remember the day, so I left CCAC and I usually take the tea to go to school because that's just the easiest way. So I took the tea down and then I, whenever I was coming home from class, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna stop at Starbucks in Market Square in Pittsburgh, PA. Pick up a cup, pick up a drink. It's super, super nice out. I still remember what I was wearing. I was wearing like sweats. Obviously, it's community college. I'm gonna wear sweats. Picked up a cup and I remember I was getting the drink and I was like, I know this may be like super weird, but can I please have like a clean new white cup? Like I'll pay for it. And he's like, no, it's fine. Like the barista was like, it's fine, you can have it. And I was like, okay, thanks. So like, what are you doing with it? I was like, I'm just gonna draw on it. And they were like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks, bye. So then I walked down to the point where like the big, um, where the big fountain is in Pittsburgh, PA, it's called The Point. It's super pretty and it's nice to just relax there. And whenever it's really nice, I didn't want to go home, that's where I would go. So I would get a cup, walk down there, and then I had a sharpie marker in my hand and I just sat like on the ground next to, I still remember exactly where it was. I, I wish I took a picture of it, but I did. I sat on the ground next to the fountain and I just drew on this cup just for fun didn't think anything of it and then I took a picture of it and the funny thing is the picture that I took the one like the entry that one it was the cup was only half done like the back I didn't even finish it at all so little do they know only the front of the cup was finished the back of the cup was not finished at that time wherever I posted it but there was like a time limit so I just posted it so yeah Sorry, <laughs> Starbucks, you didn't know that I I entered an unfinished cup. But the thing is, then I posted pictures of when it was done and it was fine. Um, I just thought that was kind of funny. So because the picture that I showed you, this one, um, that was taken um, right after I finished drawing it. So I was afraid that if I went on the T, then it would get all messed up and gross and you know. I went to make sure I photographed it before I went on public transportation. Then two weeks later, the contest ended and it was June, I think it was like June 9th or something, or June, early June, I guess. And they were like, all right, we're going to announce it on like June 8th or something. June 8th came around, didn't announce it, and I was like, just wondering. And I wanted to know who won, just like, I was just curious, you know, whatever. 
so they didn't announce it or anything and so I messaged them on Twitter which like I'm never ever ever on Twitter like I don't even have a Zenspire Designs Twitter it's like my old Twitter never go on it so meanwhile I had a different uh, Instagram handle it used to be B <laughs> B Lynn XOXO and, like that's the one that I started my business with which I wish I didn't my my actually my business used to be B Lynn Designs not Zenspire Designs, so, little fact. <laughs> so I um, direct messaged them on Twitter and I asked them, I was like, hey, just curious, you know, I entered a few times, I was just wondering who won, because I want to con congratulate them, whatever. Which I generally really wanted to, I was like, oh, that's a really cool like opportunity. And then they messaged me back and, wait, I, hold on. I want to see if I can actually find the conversation, hold on. I think, I think I will find it. Then I'll screenshot it and then I'll show you. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. Okay. So on May 28th, 2014, I actually messaged them and I will show you the screenshot right here. Um, I messaged them and I was like, hey, my name is Britta. I actually had an honor to be featured on your, oh, I forgot, I forgot that happened. Um, <laughs> I was wondering if you guys were showing the finalists. Yeah, so I didn't know that they, I totally forgot that I was featured on their Twitter page, which was really, really cool. And I was very, very excited about that. And then, um, then I was like, I was just wondering if you were showing the finalists or the ones you're picking from and cutting, or just cutting to the chase and announcing the winner on June 2nd, I believe it was. Thanks so much. <laughs> and then on June 10th, they go, hi Britta, please email Aaron Wigger at then I blocked out her um, her email um, about your white cup white cup contest entry and so I was like oh okay so I emailed them I emailed her Aaron once I email her I got an email back and she was like okay I can't find it but I did print out the email so hold on let me go get it one second okay so Whenever this whole thing went down, I actually made like a little like a little like white cup contest collage thing of like emails and my interview with Starbucks and everything like that and the white cup contest, my entry and then the whenever um, Starbucks posted my photo on their um, Instagram. So, so at the top it says hashtag white cup contest because that was the um, contest name. Then um, it says June 11, 2014. Hi, it says, hi Britta, thanks so much for emailing us. I'm thrilled to report that we've chosen your cup design, this one, meaning this one, <laughs> as our grand prize winner. When I got that, I had to like read it multiple times and I was like, um, what? So it was just that little snippet, like it wasn't even a long email or anything. And I was like, oh, yep. Yeah what and then she was like yeah you won all this stuff that was June 11 2014 that's whenever like the day that I found out that I won which I love that date I feel like that is the date that um, my business started but then in a couple days or maybe a week or so later Starbucks announced that I was the winner on their Instagram Whew. I don't know if you know this but in Starbucks has a lot of Instagram followers. <laughs> like an insane amount, like millions and millions and millions. So they posted my work and then tagged me. I just remember that I had maybe like 900 followers or something. That was just like friends and random people. I don't know. Um, they announced that I was the, this, uh, the contest winner and it was insane. Insane. So I tried to um, find the video of me recording my phone whenever I was getting notification on, on um, new followers, but I only have like this snippet right here. And it's insane. It just was like duh, 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 <laughs> of followers and I was like, oh my God, my phone's gonna blow up. It was insane. I got like 3,000 new followers in like two minutes. Like real followers, not like robots or fake followers or ones that like you buy, like real full on followers from around the world. And it was insane. Oh, I forgot to mention, 
I think one of like the best parts about these emails were I think the last email right before like the day before they announced that I was a winner the girl um, I was talking to this girl named Nicole and this girl named Erin um, their Starbucks team and whatnot and I still remember I can't find the email now but she was like the last thing she said okay so we're gonna post that you're the winner all she said was be prepared for your life to change and I was like okay like it's just an Instagram post. I'm like, okay, without that Instagram post, I would not be where I am today. Am I entire, like as soon as they hit post on that Instagram post, my entire life changed. And she also was like, okay, so there's gonna be a few people that don't like the cup design, but that's okay. Cause there'll be thousands of people that do. And yes, there were a couple people like, why does she win, blah, blah, blah. But then there was all these other people that were like, oh, I love it, love it, love it. So it's fine. It didn't hurt my feelings. It was like my first like full on like social media experience, I guess. <laughs> because I did not know what to expect. You know, I wasn't really doing, like I was doing social media for, you know, like every other person does just like for fun. But then as soon as they posted it, it just was like, well, I don't I don't even know I don't even know it, it was insane like I was sitting on my couch and I was like uh, just watching my phone for like an hour it was just like it was crazy and I don't think I will ever experience anything like that ever again it was it was something that I can't even explain I was just like is this really like happening right now and like at that time like I was just getting so many followers and I was like, what is happening? I was like, okay, so is this a real thing? There's people all around the world that were like, I want your work, I want your work, I want your work. And I was like, uh, meanwhile, I'm going to community college. I got an English project to do. <laughs> like, I can't really <laughs> draw you anything right now. That was the whole thing. It's like, that's the reason why I even opened up my Etsy shop was because I was like, okay, if millions of people are coming to my page. Meanwhile, okay, a lot of my Instagram pages, my Instagram photos before was like, either me with friends or my art. So I had some of my art, so like, it did look like I had like an art page on Instagram or not, because I didn't really like post like, I'm not like a selfie person, I guess. <laughs> I did have a lot of art and like I got a lot of comments and whatnot, and um, I was like, okay, so if all these people are gonna come to my, my Instagram, there has to be like a place that if they wanted to buy something or email me or something like that. So that's whenever I open up my Etsy shop. And I still remember the first Etsy sale that I ever did was the another woman that was part of the team that chose me as the winner. Her name is Linda. Hi, Linda. If you're watching this, you probably aren't. But thank you. You're my first Etsy uh, sale, which is pretty cool. And I still remember what it was. It was a print of um, like these paisley mandalas. It was like an 11 by 14, 20 bucks. That was my first sale ever on my Etsy shop. So that's whenever I used to do prints and stuff like that. <laughs> Not stickers, because all I do is stickers now. I mean, I do sell prints in case you're wondering. I do sell like everything else, but mainly just, um, I sell a lot of stickers. So, oh, and then um, once I won, it was announced and everything like that, I started getting um, like paper interviews and phone interviews and radio interviews like all this stuff like i i was known as the starbucks contest girl or the starbucks girl like the the classic starbucks basic white girl that's what a lot of people are calling me the some people are like oh you couldn't have um won a better more basic contest ever and i was like oh, i don't think this contest was that basic because it started my entire business so if it's basic i'm fine with that also this bench keeps squeaking. I'm sorry if it sounds weird. After all those like interviews and everything like that, it was really cool. And then I got like interviewed for my school and just like my high school, my old high school and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. And then, so one of the coolest days ever was the day, I still don't remember the exact date, but like shortly, like a month or so after, I get a package in the mail and I'm gonna show you some video. So I get a package in the mail and I open it and I get a $300 gift card from Starbucks, which was sweet. Then I opened up lids that were, I think there was 25 of them and then I had 25 cups 
that had my designs on them, which was so crazy to actually like hold the thing in my hand. And as soon as I got it, I was like, ah, and like, um, I was super, super excited. I was like Snapchatting it and everything like that um, to my friends and family. And I was just really excited because it was the first time I ever saw it like in hand. Like it felt really, really, really real at that moment. And I still, still have it. This cup. And I have a lot of these because I saved, I gave a lot away, but then I also saved, I think 10 of them. Or no, I saved five of them for me for like one for use and the others for like pencils and pens and whatnot. Then um, I gave the rest away for like friends, family, and teachers, and teachers who doubted me. <laughs> and I was like, hey, look at this. I did something with my life. I actually applied for the Three Wood Dice Festival, which was 2015, I think. Or like, I applied in 2014, but then I got in to the 2015 show. And I guess I filmed it whenever I found out that I got in because this was like a really, 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 really big deal for me because it's like an art festival that I always, always, always wanted to be in. I was like, okay, balls rolling. People love my work. Let's like do something with it. Like, let's just apply for some stuff. Like I have like some stuff on my resume now, you know, stuff like that. So I was like, maybe they'll see like potential in me because Starbucks did. I don't know, <laughs> but it's really, really hard to get into this show. So I applied. One, it's the biggest show to be in. Sorry, second largest, second best show in the US, like arts festival show to be in. It's, it's so hard to get into, but it's like amazing to be in. Oh, it's like the best show ever, I love it. It's called the Three Rivers Arts Festival in Pittsburgh, PA, and it's usually a 10 day show. And, but whenever you apply, you only get like five days, three days, or two days, or six days. I don't know, you don't get all 10 days. So, you apply and then, hope to get in. I did apply for this scholarship one. It was like one of the things like, if you've never done a show before, you don't have any like experience with shows or business or anything like that. And I was like, I've never done a show. I've never really, don't really have business experience at all. Like, so I applied for that, but okay. I'll just let the video explain right here. So, um, it is March 2nd. 5:35 p.m. and I just got an email saying that I here's Jack that I um I made it into the arts festival. What are you doing? Can you like at least like lay down or something? Do you have to do this right now? He wants to be everywhere I am. Okay, just lay down. Okay. So, yeah, I'm in, I'm officially in the Arts Festival, the Three, river, the three Rivers Arts Festival. Um, but I did not get the scholarship, but that's okay. Um, but I have the opening weekend, which is so awesome. Okay, so. Yeah, I have June... 6th and 7th which is the opening weekend it starts the 5th so everyone comes that weekend and i'm just i'm so <laughs> i'm kind of in shock i mean i really really wanted a scholarship obviously so i don't have to pay like the 400 dollars. but i mean out of thousands of applicants i made it mama did it I'm excited. I probably don't look excited, but like, I'm really bad at showing my excitement. So I'm gonna tell um, my family tonight. Jack already knows. You already knew. Okay, my mom's coming, bye. bye. So yeah, that was me. Um, after I won, I was very emotional. <laughs> I was very excited. And that kind of like really, really jumpstart my business was like, okay, let's, let's try to sell some stuff. Let's see if I am capable of doing this. Show came around. Um, I had a two day show. I did insanely well um, for two days. My first show ever. I'm just going to say how much I made because I don't think it's a big 
deal that I share that, but anywho, okay, my first day, sorry, my first show ever, 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 I made $4,000 in two days, which might be a lot for some people, might be like not a lot for some people, but for two days, $4,000, and I was like, Meanwhile, I was doing nothing. I wasn't selling anything before this. Like, you know, I didn't know I would ever be in this show. I would ever, you know, I don't know, it's insane. So, two days, $4,000, which is mind blown to me. So I was like, okay, maybe I can make this as like an actual business. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't even know like how much any other people made of that show. But to me, like $4,000 was a lot of money. I mean, it is still a lot of money. But like back then I was like looking through my couch for change type of income. <laughs> so $4,000 for my own work was amazing. Shortly after that, um, that's when I dropped out of college. <laughs> no, lies, I dropped out of college before that. I dropped out of college uh, months before <laughs> that show, sorry. I keep forgetting when I did that. But I pretty much dropped out so I can focus on my business and the show and whatnot. And I feel like if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have had the time to prepare for the show like I did and make as much money as I did. So I guess it was a good thing. But after the show, it was just like, I just started doing more shows and more shows and more shows. And then my Instagram kept like blowing up all the time. I had other people just um, reposting my work and those people had a lot of followers. So that's how I kept getting a lot of followers. And I found the whole hashtag thing where it's like you find certain hashtags that are good in the art world. Um, and then I just put those to my posts and then it went, you know, all these separate places and it was insane. And then I started doing the crayon melts and then my Instagram blew up even more. And like at that time, I think I remember 2015 of Thanksgiving 2015, I think, I finally reached like 10K. Like when you reach to 10,000 followers, that's when you got like the, the K next to your, your follower number. And I was like, oh, oh, what? I thought I was like so official now. And meanwhile, I'm like, and now I'm almost at like 100,000K and I'm like, oh. No, I'm still very, very excited. Like every new follower I get or every new you know, milestone and followers I get, it's a really cool thing. So especially like followers, a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't worry about followers. But like when you're running a business through Instagram or Twitter or YouTube, all that, you have to realize that like it's running as a business. So more followers, it means more customers. So why is it a bad thing to be excited or wanting followers? You want more customers, you want new customers. So that was the whole thing whenever a few days ago, Instagram like just people were freaking out because they were losing followers and everyone's like, why do you care so much about the followers? And like all these people are like running businesses and whatnot and like some people get like sh like sponsored posts and stuff. That's because like I, I was a part of a couple of the websites that find other influ influencers, I guess, for um, sponsored posts. Like I've done multiple sponsored posts for um, Polaroid and it's really cool because one, they pay you and two, they give you a free, um, free product, which hold on. So with me doing multiple um, sponsored posts with Polaroid, I actually got two Polaroid cameras for free from them, like to post about, so that's like, so if you have a lot of followers, companies will come to you and then give you free stuff to post about it and then like, you know, but you have to post at a certain time, you have to post um, this, you have to have certain things in your captions, you have to get it approved, all that stuff. But it's like really worth it because it's, you know, expanding your business Instagram, I guess. So the whole thing about like having followers, not just to be like popular, but to like actually grow a business. So yeah if you're one of those people like why do you even care about the followers and the subscribers and all that stuff like for me it's like a business way of hoping i get a lot of followers like once i reach like 100k so many doors will open which you probably have no idea what that even means but um i'm at like 96,000 right now and my so my birthday's in like two weeks i think two-ish 
a little over two weeks and I'll be 25. <laughs> um, but I really, 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 really am trying to get to 100K by my birthday, but it's probably not gonna happen, but it would be a really cool birthday present if that happened, but if not, it's fine. I will get there eventually. So, I mean, it took me like <clears throat> four years to get to 90K, so uh, that's a lot of years. Um, some people get to 90K in about like two months. That's not me, but I'm trying. I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, the whole the whole um, followers things. Yeah, for business wise, business aspect of it all, it's good to have followers if you're running a business on Instagram. So, yeah. So I don't really remember the timeline after that, but I do remember on, I don't remember exactly when it was. So on this little paper, it reminds me, I then was contacted by Starbucks again and this girl named Nicole was awesome because I talked to her a lot. Um, she said that she was a member of the merchandise team at Starbucks. And then she said, the purpose of this email is to inform you that you, we will be selling the reusable cup with your design on it in the US and Canada retail stores for our summer promotion. So I guess I forgot to mention, but these were sold only online for like a very, very, very long time not a very long time like a year or so and they did so well online that people were like were asking for them to have them in stores and whatnot so I guess Starbucks listened so they decided to put my cup with my name next to it in every single Starbucks store in the US and Canada that's insane do you know how many Starbucks are Starbucks is at like every corner you walk to so she said, we cannot be more thrilled to showcase your amazing talent and provide easy access for our customers to purchase the cup throughout the US and Canada. So they don't have to do it online, they only have to do it in the stores now. And the best thing is this cup was $2. $2. $2. Nothing. Um, said, thank you for partnering with Starbucks and giving us this opportunity. No. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. I'm so weird, but like this is bringing me back. I'm so excited. So the reusable cup will be sold in stores from July 7th through September 7th, 2015. So it said, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you and congratulations again. So, so that meant that any Starbucks that I walked into, like retail stores, like I don't think it counted as like some Starbucks are in like Barnes and Nobles and Target and stuff like that, I don't think that counted. Like their actual store. So I remember the first store that I ever went to um, was in, was actually July like 10th, I think, because it was, I was driving down with my mom, my sister and Eli, my nephew, and we were going to meet my new niece, Perry June, who is my brother's daughter. So she was born on July 8th and we were going down, they lived in Maryland. So we're driving down and then I was like, oh my gosh, the cups are out. So on our way home after we met Perry for the first time, I love her to death. Um, on our way home, we stopped the Starbucks and my cup was in the store. It was, I was, I was so excited. Like my sister and I went in and I was like videoing, it was so awkward. I took a picture next to it and it was just so awkward. You normally you get like a hot drink in this cup, but I wanted, it was like summer, so I wanted I wanted the cup, but I wanted to drink in the cup. So I got like a passion tea lemonade in the cup and they were very confused on why I was taking pictures of it, why I was taking selfies with it and like all this stuff. And I don't know, I don't think I said anything to the guy like that's me or something, I don't know. But I was just like geeking out because that was the first time I ever saw it. So I thought that was like the coolest day ever. And it was just, it was just so cool. And now like I went home, like I went to every Starbucks like around Pittsburgh and I saw my cup and I bought one so then I stocked up. And then I actually went to New York City in July, like mid July. And I went to the Starbucks in Times Square or the Starbucks near the Apple store. I don't know. Somewhere in New York City, I don't really remember. I don't remember taking pictures, I wish I did, but that trip was just. <laughs> Anywho, that, actually that was the trip that I got to meet um, Casey Neistat, so it's fine. We're fine. 
Thank you. Your drawings are amazing. Who is that girl in Starbucks? Britta. She's so cute. She, um, I found her online. She does these awesome drawings and I told her I like them and she's like, oh, I'm coming to the city. I'll bring you one. Isn't that nice? But during that trip, I got to see, I got to go in the Starbucks and my cup was there. Sitting there on the, on the counter with my name next to it in New York City. What? What? I, I still, I'm just like flashbacking to all those emotions that I had during that like summer. It was insane. Oh, I was, I was like, I don't think it ever hit me. It still hasn't really, after five years, it still didn't hit me. Um, at that time, I think it really hit me. I was like, okay, I'm in a completely different state. I'm not in Pittsburgh anymore, you know. I mean, Maryland, yes, but like New York City, that's like a whole different planet. <laughs> and seeing my cup in New York City and seeing people with my cup, and like I would walk around, there'll be times where I would walk around and see people holding my cup, and I'm like, what? And like I try to like zoom in, and I'm like so awkward. Um, but it was just like an insane, I still don't even like know how to explain the amount of excitement that I had whenever I saw someone with my cup or in a store with my cup. And there was one time I bought like five cups and then the guy was like, why do you want five of these? And I was like, and then I remember Abby <laughs> was with me. Meanwhile, I'm terrible, terrible at like talking about my, talking about myself, oh, that's all I'm doing right now. But like, in front of people, or like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I didn't want to be like, yeah, I did that. So, I hate, I hate being like that. So, Abby, my friend, <laughs> she was like, she was like, yeah, um, well, she designed it, and that's her name. And they didn't believe me that that was my name, and then I showed them my credit card, or like my debit card with my name on it, and they were like, oh, they like, they thought it was like the coolest thing in the world. They like they met the the designer of this cup which is and I'm like Ugh, hi. it's just me <laughs> I'm not that cool <laughs> but it was such like a surreal moment and then like on Instagram it's like hashtag white cup contest then like like millions of people were posting this cup this cup this cup and like I'm gonna tell you right now this cup that was the first white cup contest they ever did and that's the only white cup contest that they ever did for some reason i don't know why starbucks if you're watching this you should totally do another contest because you could start someone else's career like you started mine <laughs> so but now all their cups are like doodled on and um they're now selling cups that like you could doodle yourself and like I think when they started this contest, it kind of opened up the whole like customer and retailer relationship, I guess. Because then, um, shortly after that, every single cup that I got, I would draw on um, all their new spring ones or Christmas ones. I would always draw on it and then they would always post about it. And it was really cool because like, every time I drew on a cup, they would post it on their Instagram. It was just like a nice like, and they would post other artists work on their Instagram. And it was just like a cool community that they just like shared other people's work. So perks to Starbucks for doing that. Um, but after that, it just kind of, my whole thing just blew up, I guess. My Instagram, my Etsy, and then I just started, you know, I was still working from home, all of that. And it was just kind of gradual for a few months. And then like it got bigger and bigger and bigger and then it just like gradual and then got bigger 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 and i'm just doing more shows more custom orders more like there were times i had like 50 custom orders at one time it was insane <laughs> and then it was just like i was so i literally haven't been not busy for five years and i love it so much i love being busy it's just one of those things where i just have not stopped working ever since they announced that you know, I was the contest winner and, you know, after I dropped out of college, I just kept working, working, working and trying to prove to myself and to everyone else that it was, you know, not a mistake that I dropped out of college, which is what I said in my other video, but like, I'm still doing that. <laughs> it was just a really, really, really cool experience and people always on Instagram are like, how'd you get so many followers? How do you do it? How do you do it? And I was like, Honestly, like I, I don't even know how to explain for advice, like to explain how to start. Like I, I got started because I won a contest and then I worked my 
butt off to keep that ball rolling. So I guess Starbucks kind of pushed the ball for me a little bit and then I just kept pushing it, I guess. That's the thing, it's like, I was very, 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 very lucky, very, very lucky um, to be chosen as the winner. So thank you, Starbucks. Um, I know, you know, you know how thankful I am. We chit chat and you know. Um, it's very, it's a very cool thing to have in my life that I did that and like I, I did that and I won that. And it changed my life, like that whole thing. And then one of the coolest, coolest parts was I actually got to a um, couple, I think last June, funny that was in June. My best friend, she moved out to Seattle and that's why we did the 10 day trip driving across the country from Pittsburgh to Seattle, Washington. So that was a whole nother thing. Have that old video, so let me know if you wanna see those videos cause they're on my Instagram, but not all of them. Sorry Abby, they're coming, I promise. As you know, or as you don't know, um, Starbucks headquarters is in Seattle, Washington. So um, the second time I went out to visit, the first time, I don't know, either way, the first time or the second time, I don't remember. I got a message on Instagram because Starbucks follows me on Instagram and they saw that I was coming to Seattle and they messaged me and were like, hey, we saw that you're you know, gonna be in Seattle. Do you wanna stop by the headquarters? And I was like, yes, please. So her and I go and, we're like, we're gonna get there in like five minutes, but then we got stuck behind a train, so we're five minutes late. So we're currently stuck behind a train. On our way to some very cool place. And we're gonna be late, because of the train. So the stuff that I said that was, are you, are you in park? Yep. Um, that was happening today is, we were invited to come to the Starbucks headquarters. She was invited. It was like a whole thing and I felt so embarrassed because we were late just because of the stupid train and they understood because they understand that there's a train right there and the only way to get to Starbucks headquarters was across that street where the train was going. So, I was late but it was fine. So I get in there and like, their building is huge, insane, oh my god. I, th I think it used to be like a department store, like a two huge department store like it's huge we went to go visit this guy named Wade and he gave us like a little tour and I didn't really like record any of it just because I wanted to like be in the in the in the moment I guess so I did take one picture it was like us walking down but but we got to see like where all the production happens the marketing happens and the cup designs and the, the product design it was like it was the coolest tour ever and we also got to see like the tasting rooms and like all the little cups of coffee of like all the new like tastes of the coffee we did not get to taste any but he did buy us free Starbucks in Starbucks headquarters which just tasted delicious so and there were so many people working there it was incredible it was insane like it was such a cool experience to see and then I actually got to meet a few of the people that picked me as the winner and like a couple of them had my cups on their on their um, desk it was just like it was so cool I'm so weird but I'm like geeking out over it still because like five years ago in that building someone was like all right this girl is going to be the winner like this is the cup that we want like in that building that's where they chose me as the winner and like five years later I didn't think I was going to be stepping foot in that building so it was a surreal moment, uh-huh, it was, it was. So, yeah, that was crazy. I'm hoping, because I'm going to Seattle again, but I might see them again, and if I ever do, um, I will be sure to film it this time. So I'll make like a whole video of it. Maybe I'll get another tour. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but as for that, it was just <laughs> kind of like, I, I don't know if I explained everything that I wanted to explain, but I mainly just wanted to explain the whole experience that I had with this contest and how my Instagram blew up and all this stuff. And I know a lot of people are asking for like more advice and whatnot, so I'm probably going to do that. But as for this video, I just kind of wanted to explain the whole Starbucks contest thing and 
show you some photos of that and video and just, you know, things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably long, so sorry. <laughs> well, just, that's what you came for. Probably not, but I'm sorry. But yeah, it's like a story time, you know, whatever. Some I'll do crafting, challenges, DIYs, stuff like that. And other times I'll just sit here and just chit chat with you guys. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so bad at outros, as you know. Like and subscribe if you want. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. I can't speak today. What else you want to see? I know a lot of you are asking how um, a video about how I make stickers and how I design stickers. So I'll do that in a Procreate and in Adobe Draw, like an iPad review, app tips, advice, stuff like that. So that's also going to be something. But as for now, I'm going to go and get to work. <laughs> so I'm sorry if this is 40 minutes and that was 40 minutes you will never get back from your life. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but all right, I'm going to leave now. Okay. Like and subscribe, share if you want. I don't know. Cool. Okay. Bye. I have to pee so bad.